I reached out to you, Lanzi, showed them the issue, and they've responded. <laughs> Paul here, and on this channel, we do a ton of tech and gadget reviews, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this one. I recently picked up the Insta360 ONE X, and we've been loving it. You may have seen our review. One of my concerns was damaging it, and many of you put in the comments below fears of that as well. It's not well protected, and if you lay it down on its side, it's gonna touch one of the lenses. There are cases for it, but the problem with those cases is it really distorts the lens a little bit because it's protected from water and other elements. So Ulanzi, Ulanzi, Ulanzi sent me their C1X frame and we're gonna be taking a look at it in this video. Before we begin, you can check out the description below for a link so you can find out more about it for yourself. Inside the box, we have the frame and the lens cover as well as the mounting system which appears to be GoPro style. Let's put this on the Insta360 ONE X. It has a hinge at the top. Cut, nope. A snug fit. This is gonna hold it together, this GoPro style type mount. There we go. The frame itself has a hinge at the top, goes over here, and then you have the GoPro style mount, which you could use either a GoPro mount on some other device you have or the quarter inch thread at the bottom. So this is a way to get it on a GoPro type mount without having something obstructing the lens. On the side, you can still access the battery port just fine, which is a nice little feature. Doesn't obstruct the face or the buttons at all. You cannot reach to the SD card, which is fine with me. That is a note. And you can reach the USB port on the side but I'm not sure the connector that comes with it. We're gonna have to check that out real quick. On the top, this is the cover for the lens. Fits pretty securely. The question I have is, will this wrestle around and fall off my bag? And it seems like the answer is no. That is a pretty secure fit. If you left this on the stick and you were right behind you, you could just leave this on there and pull it right off. And this has some pretty good protection on it by the feel of it. I normally have been using this soft case right here and I just put it on there and pull it off and I put this in my pocket, but I do think this could actually work as a viable option. The real test for this is will the cable plug into the side so you can power it or do you need to buy a separate cable? And with this frame on it, will it obstruct the view at all? This is the power cable that comes with the Insta360 ONE X. So I put it on the side it does not plug in, there is just not enough clearance there. So you will need a secondary cable that did not come with it if you wanna use this to power or access that side piece because it is a edge connector and not a straightforward one. Not a big deal, but that is something to note. There's one last test, which is probably the most important for this frame, is will this little piece that sticks out end up blocking any of the camera because, well, that would be pretty bad. We're on a white table here, so this is gonna be the best case in order to test this out. It's on there very securely, it's centered, no issues there. I'm gonna put up right here, everything we're seeing on the camera, we're connected to the app, so you can see me right here. And as we scroll down and look, uh-oh, we do see a line right here along the table. And I believe it is this blocking it. So let's spin it to see if that is the true case here. And yes, as I spin it, that line moves right along with this right here. So this piece is blocking just a little bit. So not a ton, but if that is something that will bother you, keep that in mind, because that could be a deal breaker for you. We're gonna take the case off and verify for 100% that that's not there normally, and that it is the case causing the issue. Still there. And you can see that it is gone. And then when we put this back around, it shows up again. Gone and back again. So that is the case for sure causing that line that's right there. 
I don't typically do this. I reached out to you, Lanzi, showed them the issue, and they responded. They said they also found that same issue and the new units won't have it. Obviously, I don't have a new one, so I can't tell you for sure. If they send me a new one and I check it out, I'll put it at the very top of the description below so you can find that and pin a comment as well. Also, you can check other reviews. Assuming they fix that issue, this thing is pretty solid. It's gonna help you protect the Insta360 ONE X, give you access to that battery door, give you access to the USB. Just keep in mind, you might need a different cable than what it came with. No access to the SD card, which is fine by me. No interference with those buttons. A very solid lens cap on it. That GoPro mount, as well as the quarter inch mount. Pretty much everything that I'd want in this thing. We'll just have to wait and see if they fix the issue. This has been Paul with the Ulanzi protective frame and lens cap for the Insta360 ONE X. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, uh.